I'm Petra Hilleberg. I am here to talk about the new tents for 2021. So normally I do this video at one of our trade shows, but obviously due to the circumstances, um, the trade shows have been canceled. So I'm doing this from my backyard instead. So the news, the new tent is Helix 2 and Helix 3. So uh, yellow label tunnel tents. We're also doing a solo in a black label version. With the Helix 2 and 3, we also get the mesh inner tents uh, as a separate accessory. And those mesh inner tents fit the Kitem 2 and Kitem 3. So to all of those of you who have asked for the Kitem 2 and 3 mesh inner tents, those will be coming as well. We will also have an, a new accessory peg. It's the YPEG XL. It's the same shape as we have for the YPEGs that are with the black label tents and the yellow label tents, but a little bit longer and a little bit wider. So taking a closer look here at the Helix 2 and Helix 3, like I mentioned, they are in the yellow label line, uh, two entrances, two vestibule tunnel tents. Uh, so you can kind of look at it as a yellow label version of the red label Kitem and the black label Caron uh, models. The Helix 2 is 2.4 kilos, so 5 pounds, 5 ounces. And the Helix 3 is 2.6 kilos, so 5 pounds, 12 ounces. And those are pack weights. So basically you have everything in the bag with the guidelines and the extra pegs and everything that you get with the tent. Um, so very light, very comfortable. Because you have those two entrances and two vestibules, you end up having vertical inner tent walls on both sides and those inner tent entrances have really large mesh panels. So you have a really, really comfortable roomy tent with lots of airflow options. You can roll the vestibule to the side like this and you can also roll it completely to the side. So you could have this tent and have both sides completely rolled and just like a little bit of a mesh tube with a cover. Uh, so really nice and airy. The, the yellow label tents are for the snow-free times of the year. Uh, so uh, the red and the black label are all season tents, so you can use them any time of year. Um, but we prefer the, the yellow label to be used in the snow-free times of the year uh, because the venting is built into the structure of the tents. So you have this catenary cut uh, and, and then again those large mesh panels. So our philosophy on what constitutes an um, all season tent is that the outer tent fabric should go all the way down to the ground and the, the vents need to be really high. They need to be high up so that they're not covered in case you are covered by, by snow. Uh, and also that all mesh panels need to be able to be covered by regular fabric. Um, uh, and that's again, so you don't have snow drift or sand or, uh, but mainly snow drift coming in. Um, so if you're gonna be in more exposed areas uh, you're expecting a lot of heavy sideways rain, uh, then looking at a red label or a black label is a good idea. But if you're looking for uh, a lightweight, comfortable tent for backpacking in most conditions when there's not snow, uh, these are great options. So here I am sitting in the two person version. So you can see how big that is. I am five, nine and a half or 175 centimeters tall. Um, so you can see lots of headroom and uh, we have two ridge rests in here, uh, which are, you know, standard size ridge rests, but you can see how much space there is uh, on both sides. Uh, four pockets, little clotheslines. Uh, don't put too much heavy stuff in there because that kind of pulls down on the, uh, on the uh, tunnel tent. So that's actually why we don't use gear lofts and things like that. It blocks ventilation and also pulls on the tent. So we have these little clotheslines where you can put little things. Uh, and then you can see this big mesh panel. Uh, and here we have just the, the door three quarters of the way uh, rolled away, but you can also roll it completely away. So you can just lay in here and have either both uh, people looking one way or one direction each. So you can have a vestibule each. Um, so for that weight, you have a really a lot of space. So now I'm sitting in the Helix 3. Um, now I'm sitting on a Neo Air, so I'm sitting a little bit higher up, but see, I still have a lot of headroom. Um, I only had three quarter pads at home, but um, you can see how 
these three pads without any problems. You have lots of room. Um, so plenty of room for three. And again, with having those two entrances and two vestibules, because you have vertical inner tent entrances, you really can utilize every little millimeter of the inner tent. So that makes a big difference. Also, if you're really tall, uh, you're probably not gonna touch the walls as much. So again, four pockets, clothesline, and the doors that you can configure in all kinds of ways. And that is all for 2.6 kilos in pack weight. So lots of space for not a lot of weight. So I'm here with a Solo Black Label. We've had our Solo in the Red Label series for a long time. And a lot of you have asked to have a Solo Black Label or to have a real true Solo tent in the Black Label series. And this is it. So for about 400 grams more than the Red Label Solo, which is 2.4 kilos. So this one's 2.8 kilos, six pounds, three ounces. You get uh, the full Carolyn 1800 strength and the 10 millimeter poles that um, you have in the other Black Label tents as well. So even though the Solo Red Label can stand up to pretty much anything and people use it around the world and on big mountains, this gives you that extra layer of insurance that we talk about. Uh, we talk about the black labels being for any trip, anywhere, any climate, any, any place really. Uh, so this really is uh, that. So solo black label. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this to see what we have new for 2021. Uh, you can also go to hilleberg.com, our website, to, uh, to learn more about us and our philosophy and how we make our tents and read about all our models. So please stay safe and take care.